Is a businessman ready to listen tonight? Is a champion ready tonight? Someone determined to last and remain. If you are ready, shout a loud amen. amen. You are about to experience a transformative journey with Apostle Joshua Selma in this powerful sermon. This profound teaching will deepen your understanding of faith, purpose, and spiritual growth. Get ready for a soul-stirring encounter that will inspire and empower you. Those who have the grace that lasts and outlasts, outlasts challenges, outlasts seasons. By the way, the word at last, if you care to find out the meaning, the word at last means to continue to exist in spite of. To continue to exist in spite of. It means to remain active. It means to remain active. It means to last longer than things, opponents, and conditions. I'll take it one more time. To outlast means to continue to exist in spite of. To outlast means to remain active. To outlast means to last longer, longer than things, longer than opponents, longer than conditions, usually unfavorable. This is what it means to outlast. And very quickly, without further ado, I want to give you five keys that will grant anyone the grace and the empowerment. And at the end of my teaching, by the privilege of God's grace, someone will carry that grace bodily tonight. In the name of Jesus, a weary person will come back full of faith. You will learn a lot. Wisdom will be imparted upon you from the throne. Are you ready? Number one, the first key that has helped me has helped any great person I know is to be strong in the Lord. Write it down. The first key that helps men to stay, to last and to outlast is to be strong in the Lord. The strength that is derived from your knowing God. There is a stamina and strength that is derived from knowing God. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10, popular scripture, it says, finally, brethren, be strong. I like amplified. Give it to us, please. Amplified says, finally, be strong in the Lord. It says, be empowered through your union with him. Draw your strength from him. That strength which his boundless might provides. Show me a champion who has remained. Show me a great trailblazer, a destiny changer who has remained. I show you a man, especially in the kingdom, who has mastered how to be strong in the Lord. Write this. Your confidence in life will be on the strength of your knowledge of God. Your confidence in life will be on the strength of your knowledge of God your confidence in life that includes every endeavor you are part of will be on the strength of your knowledge of god second timothy 1 12. second timothy chapter 1 and verse 12 please the bible says for the which cause i also suffer these things nevertheless i am not ashamed for i know whom i have believed hallelujah and i am persuaded say persuaded one more time, say persuaded. I am persuaded that he is able. His ability was derived from my knowing him. That he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him. I have taught you here, Koinonia, that God does not keep what you have. He keeps what you commit to him. The bank does not keep the money in your house. They keep the money you deposit as a trust in the account. Am I right on that? If you have one million and you keep it in your house and it is stolen and you blame the bank, you see that now? The court will charge you for fraud because they are not entitled to keep anything outside of their jurisdiction. So God cannot protect a destiny that is not handed over to him. If you trust him enough, trust him with your life. 
If you trust him enough, trust him with your destiny. If you trust him enough, trust him even with your days. They looked unto him and their faces were lightened. There is no shame when we trust in the Lord. The Bible even says with all our hearts we should trust him. And it says to lean not unto our own understanding. He says in all your ways, Proverbs 3, 5 to 7, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Next verse says, be not wise in your own understanding. He says, fear the Lord and depart from evil. Be strong in the Lord. Please look at me. A time will come when the only true ally in your life will be God. Did you hear what I said? A time will come when the most trusted ally in your life will be God. Some trust in horses, some trust in chariots. How many of you know that horses and chariots are a warrior's ally? He needs them to be efficient in war. But he says some trust, but we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. Early enough you must learn that the greatest security in your life, the longevity factor in this ministry, your ministry, destiny, your family, your business is God himself. And if you allow your knowledge of God to suffer because you are pursuing any other thing, you will learn painfully with time that you made a bad bargain with destiny. Are we together? Be strong in the Lord. First two words, be strong. It takes strength to continue. The Bible says if you turn aside in the day of battle, it says your strength is small. If you turn aside in the day of battle, your strength is small. Caleb spoke in Joshua chapter 14 and verse 11. He said, as I was, can you imagine? By what technology? It's not a natural thing. He says, I am yet as strong this day as I was when Moses sent me. 40 years down the line, the guy said, I am still strong for war. I am still strong to go in and I'm still strong to go out. I made a joke some time ago that many leaders are usually eager to serve, not just to serve nations, to serve companies, I've prayed for many people at their retirement or when maybe another director takes over. And usually, I am shocked to see that the zeal that they had when they began that adventure usually diminishes sometimes almost to zero at the point of retirement. I've seen people clamor for positions and titles and at the point where the reality of that office beats on them, when they're about to retire, they retire in a hurry. They said, director, can we shift your retirement by two weeks? Say, no way, I will retire now because they are tired of all the troubles. Something happens to men when they stay long enough with men. They almost choose to quit. It takes a man who knows God to remain in the world of men. Let me repeat this again. It takes a man who knows God to remain in the world of men. The stories and the episodes of pain, betrayal, anger, and a mix of all the humanities of men is sufficient to, to blow your vision, deflate your passion, erode your appetite and your energy. It takes a man who knows God to have the stamina to continue in this world of men. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. What happens to a pastor when he loses, say his wife or his child? At that point, you need beyond masculinity. At that point, is beyond brain work. There are things that can befall men in life that makes you to wish death. Have you seen people commit suicide in our world? Do you think it's that easy to kill yourself? Don't try it. Are we together? But our world is full of people who jumped into lagoons and made certain statements. Others recorded themselves. World, this is to let you know where I'm about to die. I am tired. I'm 35, 45. Nothing is working. And they jump in. And you would think they are playing until you find them dead. A man's spirit can be so broken that death looks like gain. A man's spirit can be so broken that by yourself you will want to kill yourself 
Hallelujah. Many years ago, I had the honor of praying for someone who had an accident. And it's not a picture I want to paint for you. That person was so broken, like for the rest of his or her life, he will not be able to walk. I mean, anywhere you can find bone was broken. How the person was alive. I remember talking to the person and the man, true story. The man said, I wish for death. I'm already saved. Why will I live like this being a burden? to my wife being a burden to my children people have left jobs to take care of me they have left everything it's unfair to them that was his he cried with his tears he said at least if i die i know i'm going to heaven and all the monies that are spent on me can be used for something else can i tell you people can go through things in life that makes them pray by themselves for death this is life for you you need to be strong in the lord moses you are about to lead God's people into the promised land. You have no idea the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, and all the people, the forces that you'll be contending with. So he told Joshua, like he told Moses, be strong. Remember, he said it before the journey. When God tells you be strong, he means he's talking to a warrior. Are we together? Be strong be strong it takes strength to remain there are people today who became great and they started the journeys of their lives with no father and no mother but they became strong they said listen i may not be able to do anything about my life daddy died mommy died sisters died no siblings no support but for as long as i have breath within me i will take a step of faith and some of them went to go and write jam by themselves they went to gain admission by themselves. All they had was money enough to get into the school. Some of them today are company owners. It takes strength to do anything in life. Giving flimsy excuses and blaming yesterday and men is the lot of weak people. You need to be strong. First in the Lord. Someone prophesy to yourself. Say be strong. Mean what you are saying. One more time. Say be strong. Be strong means I know that things have happened around your life that is unfavorable. But rest in the fact that there is a God who can save men. Are we together now? Be strong in ministry. You started ministry and after 10 years there are only two members. Be strong. Be strong. You have a problem right now with your rent. Embarrassment is imminent. Be strong. One thing I can tell you about life is that it passes. Life is not static. Life moves. And if you have the endurance, that sin will change. It's like the pages of a book. It will take time to open. It's like the hand of a clock. Have you seen a clock with a battery that stays? It moves. It may move slow, but the same distance that our hand is moving is what the minute and the second is moving. It's just that your attention is on the hour hand. That's why it looks slow. Everything in life will come to pass be strong there are men who do not have the stamina to look on to Jesus and to be strong who would ever believe that upon this earth today according to the authority of scripture that a flood once covered the earth and there was no land and there were only eight people you would think the earth would never have land again Look at the world today. Nothing is as dangerous, as powerful, as threatening as it initially looks. I have taught you that life always comes with its challenges in a magnified form. It takes stamina to deflate it to its right size and then defeat it by understanding. Someone prophesied, be strong. You are not the first to look for a house rent. Please, it's not a unique attack to you. You are not the first to struggle with a child. I know that there are parents who are struggling with autistic children and let me tell you the truth it is a very difficult thing I have witnessed for myself there are people struggling with all kinds of cases and whilst they pray every day the situation seems to deteriorate the staying power is derived from the ability to know God and to draw strength from him I know God I may not know the director in that company but I know God I may not know the president the owner of the oil and gas company but I know God and my Bible says the people that know their God even though they are weak it said they shall be strong someone say be strong that police case will come to pass be strong 
that issue with your relatives be strong i know that you are the first son now out of 12 children and you don't even have a job you don't know how to take care of the remaining hey be strong crying does not solve the problem be strong you need to shut your door and prophesy to yourself be strong let me tell you the truth behind every exploit you see until men tell you their challenges and take off their destiny clothes for you to see the scar you usually will focus on the crown alone there is no champion who did not weary seasons through their courage be strong it's not unique to you hmm. yes sir you know most times when god speaks to you about destiny he speaks as if everything will happen overnight he spoke to you i have raised you to be an apostle and a prophet and you thought you would just a partner would just come and give you one billion open a church for you and put your your picture everywhere think again you now know why pastors cry during pastors conference members just keep laughing but you see a pastor sitting like this he's not writing while the sermon is going on and you will see from a man tears coming the tears are doing the writing they could relate like some of you are too innocent to relate with this teaching tonight but there are some of you who know that you are in the middle of a season right now if you are not strong you will give up mm. men do not last because all seasons were to their favor they stayed until dry season became rainy season every farmer knows that it is frustrating to patiently wait as we call it in africa and in nigeria for dry season dry season comes with unusual heat it comes with a lot of things right now it's very very hot very very hot you know many times i travel when i return i have to adjust to the temperature it can be very inconveniencing as soon as you land nigeria you just know you are home many things not through the sign but you know you are home ah, and you have to invent a skill to manage that because it will not change because of you champions know that seasons will change it may not change as fast as you want it so you invent a skill skill number one is to look on to him every time you are confused about life stop looking down look up looking up is a skill that only champions know did you hear what i said every time someone tells you provided i'm in this office you will never be promoted go back home and sit down then your wife says what kind of a man are you there's no food for the children and sometimes the devil says get a knife quickly kill yourself and rest look up look up mm. be strong in the lord there are times you will do everything right. It is not just your season of appearing. There is nothing at all that you did wrong. You kept the principles. What God says to do is what you have done. All that is left is to stand. Haven't done all, stand. Stand. You called for the program and only five people came. And somebody told you, go and look for a job quickly. Because if it's this ministry, you are not called. Uh-uh. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, forever, Yahweh. I remember many years ago. We lost one of our precious daughters in this house wonderful lady she was a leader and i traveled down to go and see the people to comfort them i was so sad about what happened i went for a retreat for three days i said lord how did this happen that you did not show me how did it, did i sin against you is something wrong with my spiritual life have i backslidden what happened to my eyes that i did not see this and afterwards I drew comfort in scripture and when I went we met her mother you know how it is to enter a house where someone is bereaved and the woman kept encouraging us she was the one who became the preacher the woman who lost her daughter come on I said this is stamina 
Look, it is a powerful thing. In the midst of storms, that is when you will see strength from within. How do you lose your precious daughter, an architect, wonderful lady, great destiny, and you would think the mother would be crying and shedding tears and saying, all of you men of God, you mean you couldn't see this? And she was the one telling us to be strong. I left that place. I said, there are people, oh, something happens to you when you know God. You can sit in the midst of fire and be teaching people how to survive. You are in the midst of fire. You don't even focus on your own fire. You have gained mastery over storms. The staying power is derived from knowing God. There is something about your knowledge of God that gives you the strength. The three Hebrew boys said, O king, I hope you know that fire was not a parable. Has a gas cooker burnt you before? Or stove or electric stove or anything? It can burn you and the scar can remain there for days. Here is a king who is about to throw Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego in fire. And they said, oh king, our God will save us. But that even if he does not save us, we build capacity already. We have come too far with him. How do you go back? Generals, don't go back. Even if it's at the instance they die with honor in battle, they don't run away. In the military, you are charged when you run away from battle. No, civilians do that. Warriors stand and they face with valiancy until they win. Until they win. Until they win. Until they win. You can worry that financial problem. You can worry that health problem. When you look like a victim, it will help you make you take away that victim mentality. God does not raise victims. He raises victors. You may not see the end, but find strength. Those who last are people who are full of, hold on, not assumed courage, not pretentious courage, not bold face. No, the righteous as bold as a lion. I wish I would tell you ministry was always like this. I would be lying. There were seasons that required stamina. There are times in your life where nothing physical can help encourage you that you have a great tomorrow. The only thing you hold on to is God said. And unfortunately, you are the only one who had him. So you cannot even tell your wife God said. Abraham, you had God alone. What are you going to do with Sarah? What are you going to do with your mighty man? It is very frustrating when you are the only one who had God alone. When there is no company to say we had God. There was a time when the Bible says God said to them, separate me. All of them had it. So there was no conflict. But when you are the only one who has had God, I'm sending you to America. I'm sending you to UK. I'm sending you to Abuja. And you had him. You know the word of God is there for you. Let me tell you, it is difficult when you do not have proof that back your convictions yet. You do not have a way to defend yourself. Only time and God can make that defense happen. At such times, you need the staying power. Staying power. Staying power. Staying power. God is speaking to someone today. Yo, you are still the prophet. No doubt about it. You are still the apostle. You are still the prayer warrior. You are still that destiny changer. The only lady God took out of a family of 10 people. You think he's playing with you? An old song we used to sing says, God did not bring us out this far to take us back again. That he brought us out to take us into. God does not bring men to take them back. You can run back, but warriors stand and they remain. When the nation of Israel wanted to run, David said, no, it's not in our culture to retreat. Please listen. I'm showing you how to be strengthened. Be strong in the Lord. Hear me? This is why, young lady, God is telling you, invest in your spiritual life now before you get married. You don't know the challenges that will befall you. At that point, it's not a beautiful lady who will fight the challenges. It's a woman who knows God. Know God now that you are a student. Know God now before you become a director in that company. Know God now. 
knowing God is an advantage you cannot survive the days that your destiny would capture if you don't know God as we draw the curtains on this powerful sermon by Apostle Joshua Selman let the transformative truths shared resonate within your spirit may the seed of wisdom faith and purpose take root bringing forth abundant fruit in your life carry the light of revelation into your week knowing that you are equipped for victorious living stay connected with the divine and continue to grow in the knowledge of god's love and grace until we gather again for another moment of spiritual enrichment go forth in confidence and may your journey be filled with divine favor if you have any question drop it on the comment section and we'll get back to you and don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video god bless you